Well, happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Um, today we're going to make um, pie for uh, the holiday. It's not not hard to do to make a, a really quality apple pie um, on your own. You get some basic ingredients here. Uh, got eight apples. Um, I find that four Cortland and four the Granny Smiths uh, work just fine. Um, I have my pie crust already done up. I bought. Uh, you can make your own. I just find that this crust is a very high, good quality crust and works fine for the pies. Um, and we have some cinnamon, some vanilla extract. So I like to season the pie with a little cinnamon and a little vanilla. Unsalted butter, white sugar, brown sugar, and three tablespoons of flour and a quarter of a cup of water. Um, to make our um, pie, our apple pie sauce. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel and core these apples, get them in the bowl, and then we'll put our uh, crust on the bottom of this nice um, pie dish, ready for the, uh, the oven. And um, then we'll get started. Okay, putting in the um, pie crust, what I'm going to do is put a couple of little vent holes, okay, with the fork. Just so when I push these in the corner, the air has somewhere to escape, and it, it'll go nice and uh, easy into the corner, as you can see, like that. Okay, and that'll get all the air out from um, the bottom between the bottom crust and the pie pan. Press those holes closed, so I don't have stuff leaking out underneath. Okay, like so, and then that's my top. Okay. Uh, one thing I did want to mention um, that if you uh, don't like your apple pie have that bitter flavor to it because sometimes the Granny Smiths can be a little bit bitter um, you can add some salt um, I use a sea salt because it's mild and I just pour that over the top and that will work its way in you don't want to over salt in this out that also works for coffee if you uh, buy a brand of coffee that is um, Let's see, oh yeah, that's melting up nice, nice and slow, I don't want to rush it. Um, just put a couple of dashes of salt in with your grinds and it take the uh, bitterness out of the coffee. Okay, so you can see now that that butter is uh, completely melted and we're going to add our um, flour in there. And just briskly, um, you know, Kind of work it in with the fork, okay. And again, you don't want it to stick to the bottom, so keep it on low to medium heat, depending. You know, if you get the diffuser, that helps. Sugar butter sauce that we're going to pour over those apples, so it all drips down all the way through, and um, will give it all its uh, flavor, the apple pie flavor. So that's in there now, and we're going to let that kind of paste up, you can see it's starting to bubble a little, and we want to get it so it gets nice and thick, and it's actually cooking that, that flour a little bit, thicken it up, and see how it starts to swirl around the corners, it's getting thicker, that's what we want, lots of thicken up. Uh, you can see once it starts bubbling up like that, that's when you want to hit it with the water. Okay. Beautiful. Stir that in. That's going to loosen it a little. That's what we want. At this point, get it on high. Crank that up to high. So we're going to add the sugar, the brown sugar, and the white sugar and we want that to melt okay and come to actually come to a boil so we want to get that sucker going nice and hot get it going nice and hot and then once it comes to a boil then we will um, reduce it down to a simmer for just about a minute and then we're going to pour it over those apples. Right, that's what it looks like. 
Very nice. Okay. So while that is coming to a boil, we'll put the camera down. Yeah, so you can see. Okay, and we're gonna add in Just a little bit of vanilla extract, flavor, okay, we'll stir that in, mmm, yeah, nice butter, sugar gravy, buttery sugar gravy, and we're going to add our cinnamon, and this is optional, I like a, some nice cinnamon, so I'm just going to sprinkle some over the top, yeah. Butter, syrup, vanilla, cinnamon. Mmm. Good eat. Okay, so now you can see that um, butter, sugar, syrup is actually boiling. So at this point, we want to reduce it to a simmer. Okay. Just to bring that temperature down now. Okay, let's get our butter sauce. And you want to do this very slow and very, um, just gonna stir it up from the bottom. Make sure nothing's stuck to the bottom. Sometimes you get like a little layer on the bottom. I just want to stir it up good. Okay. Whatever you do, don't get this on you because that's got a lot that's hot. And what I do is I start in the center. I slowly work my way around and around. And oh my god, does this smell good already? I can't wait to get this in the oven. The whole house is gonna smell like apples and cinnamon and it's gonna smell like Thanksgiving around here. So my goal is I'm gonna take my dad is um, recovering from pneumonia, 89, and I'm going to take him a nice piece of apple pie over at uh, Cherry Hill Manor. So, oh yeah, there we go. Get that all in there. Nice, nice. And once that's out, what you want to do... Okay, so that's our... Um, Pie is ready to have for the cover now. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on. And I'm going to match it up with the outside. Okay. Just like that. If you get to stretch it, stretch it a little. The big thing is you want to seal up these ends so you don't get anything dripping out. What I like to do is put it in a on a baking sheet just in case it drips out, doesn't get all over the the oven. There we go. There's a little feet and it helps seal that pie. Okay. And just press it right around and get your little chicken feet going. Like the chicken dance. Years past. Okay, and that, like I said, it helps seal it. Okay, then we're going to put in some slits in the pie. I'm just kind of open it up just a little. We want one at um, every 45 degrees or so. Okay, and that makes for a nice picture perfect pie. Okay, and I'll give you a shot of the top of this once I get done cutting it. So, I'll take this time to wish everyone a happy, healthy, safe Thanksgiving. And that's what it looks like. Okay, now we're going to get it into the oven. In she goes. Kitchen timer, zero.
One, five. Start. Okay, we'll check it in 15. Looks like Wolfie is smelling it. What's that, Wolfie? You smell it? Hmm? You smelling that by, huh? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll give you a little piece. Alright, so we're going to set it for now at 350. Okay. And the kitchen timer we're going to set for 40 minutes. It takes 35 to 45 minutes, so I'm going to set it for 40. See how it looks. Okay. And we hit the start. And let's see if I can, so you can see what this looks like. Put the oven light on. My kitchen mitts, so I don't burn myself. Oh yeah. So now we get our pan. I'm gonna slide this out. Okay. And if you can't see that, that's what it's shaping up to be. Okay, that is in the oven, and while I got it in the oven, I uh, took out my rack. So I'm gonna, when I take that pie out, it's gonna be very hot. I don't want to burn my um, countertop or my cutting board, so I'm gonna put on this nice rack and let it cool, and just enjoy the smell. Okay, our um, pie is ready. So just put that right there. Look at that pie. There she is. Nice. Nice pie. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody.